So how are you doing today? I'm doing good. That's good. So we've listened to your album. We kind of just wanted to know the inspiration behind your album. Um, the inspiration behind my album was, was basically growth. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like everything I did on this album, I tried to grow with what I, from what I did in the past. From, you know what I'm saying? Lyrics to beats to meanings in, 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 my, in my song. You know what I'm saying? I, the, this album basically was about growth and stepping forward. You know what I'm saying? And opening my eyes to a lot of things. Okay. And what gave you the uh, idea to title it Hun- Hunger Games? But the very first one of the games that I ever made, you feel me, it was um it was a title Hunger Games One and I named it that because the movie I'm pretty sure everybody knows the movie Hunger Games. Yeah. Um this 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 young this young girl, she um was forced she didn't ask to, you know what I'm saying, be where she from or what she had to go through, but she was forced to, you know what I'm saying, fight for her life and for what she what she come from, you know what I'm saying? And I kind of related to that in a way. You know what I'm saying? Based on what I come from, what I've been through. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, I kind of just said that my surroundings at the time, and I felt like, you know what I'm saying? It's like the Hunger Games out here. You know what I'm saying? I didn't actually be here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I was born here. I was raised here. You know what I'm saying? I was put in this position. I was forced in this position to deal with these people, to go through these problems and shit. So that's 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 what that's what I was talking about in my lyrics. You know what I'm saying? What I saw every day, what I was going through. Mm-hmm. So that's what I named my project. Okay. And where are you from originally? I'm from St. Petersburg, Florida. Okay, okay. Florida. All right. Uh, so tell me a little bit about your background in music and what inspired you to be a rapper and a singer. Um, I I never I never wanted to be a uh, rapper or a singer. Like, if my big brother Shaw, he always since I was a child, he always you know some big music head. You know what I'm saying? Buy every album with his Christmas money. You know what I'm saying? Like. He always wanted to be a rapper, you know what I'm saying? And one time I was just singing around the house in like fifth grade because I had started chorus and shit. Okay. He, just, he heard me, he heard me singing and was like, you know what I'm saying, bro? Just, he you know, he'd go to school, he'd come from school with a rap that like he wrote, you know what I'm saying? And he'd be like, bro, just sing this from, I like how it sounds, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So that's, and, and just, we used to just practice on it every day. Every day, that's how it started. Okay, okay. Um, so, are there any artists or genres that uh, you're inspired by while making your music? Or making this, uh, this mixtape? Like I like to listen to, um, you know what I'm saying, John Mayer and the script, you know, okay. stuff like that. I don't really like to listen to rap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't really shit, shit, I don't really like that shit. Yeah, it's good to kind of diversify, you know, what you listen to because then you really get that in your music as well. Yeah, I totally get that. Um, yeah. So, Knowing that you got signed to Alamo Records, how did you manage to get signed, and what was the feeling like for you? I'm sorry, what did you say? Well, being signed to Alamo Records, how did you manage okay. to get signed to Alamo uh, Alamo Records, and how what was the like, feeling? How yeah, and what how did you feel about it? You know, once you heard the news. I mean, it was it was definitely like a dream come true. You know what I'm saying? Even though I didn't like, you know what I'm saying? Are you still more work to do? Mm-hmm. I always wanted to be like, you know what I'm saying, that my side to a label. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always wanted that. that I always, you know, that, that always been a dream of mine. So, uh, a friend, a close friend of mine, his name was Taylor, he flew out to my city, you know what I'm saying, came to holler at me. I didn't know about the situation at first, you know what I'm saying, my team kept it away from me. But once I found out about it, it was like a dream, I'm truly true. Yeah, that's awesome, that's awesome. So, what your biggest accomplishments this year, you know, being the end of the year. Tell me some of your accomplishments that you had this year. Definitely dropping my project, you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. I feel like that project was a, what, I, what I was always aiming for, but I never really felt satisfied with what I was, you know what I'm saying? Like, that that, that project, I was always, like, man, that's what I wanted to sound. That was, like, my ideal project, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but then, then this year, I'm, I'm definitely proud of, of that project. Yeah, that's awesome. That's awesome. That's a big project to put put out. Um, so what what have been some of your challenges this year, and how did you overcome them? Some challenges I went through this year was like basically, you know what I'm saying, separating real from the fake. You know what I'm saying because when you when you when you're coming up, you know what I'm saying, on the way to it, that's when I feel like you have your most, 
you know what I'm saying, your most troubling experience with people, friends and family, you know what I'm saying? Your family wants you to do all this for them and, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying, some things you can't do, I ain't Superman, you feel me? Yeah. And then your friends feel like this, that, and the other. And mm-hmm. they got all these fake friends that come around. And so I, 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 that definitely was hard for me to separate the real from the fake, but cause I've never been through nothing like that yeah. in my life, you know what I'm saying? Like, all the, the, the money and the and all the stuff, it, it's new to me, so. Yeah. How, how long have you been doing music? About two years. Okay. Two years. Okay. Okay. Um, so how how did you manage to get uh, a song to feel the same way? How did you manage to get money back uh, money back yo on there? Do you guys have a background? No, um, I just we were, I just made the song. We just felt like it was sound good on it. Mm-hmm. And I was coming out of the bar one day and he was giving the manager the space time. Okay. You know what I'm saying? It was like, let's make it happen. So it just went from there. Okay. Are there any other artists that you would like to work with in the future? Uh, let me see. <laughs> nah, I, I, that's a hard one. Yeah, I know. There's a lot of good ones out now. There's a lot of good ones. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll do another interview, and I ask you that again. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> so, do you have any other upcoming projects for 2019? Yeah. That's- yeah. I got a long, I got a long way, you know what I'm saying, a long way to go. So I got a lot of projects, a lot of stuff that I'm working on. Now, it's that project, which was basically already done, you know what I'm saying? I'm really like, I'm really like in, like in the, in the middle of my next one right now. So. Okay, okay. Um, so is there anything else that you would like to let the people know about yourself or you know your fans? Is there anything else you want to tell them? Yeah, definitely because I see. You know what I'm saying a lot of people, you know, social media is, is is a is a way that people, you know, what I'm saying, can disguise themselves and hide behind it. I just want everybody to understand, you know, what I'm saying that I'm a person just like everybody else. I come from, I got the same 24 hours everybody else do. Mm-hmm. I try to feed my family just like everybody else, and you know, what I'm saying. So I just, you know, what I'm saying, I, but I appreciate all the love, you know, what I'm saying, and all and all the all the help and support, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying. And, uh, I, 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 I hope to be around for a long time. Long. Awesome, awesome. Well, I thank you for taking the time out to do this interview with us. And we look so yeah. much forward to what you have coming in 2019. Definitely.